after almost four weeks of no rain we finally got rain yesterday and it's not normal for us to go that long without rain it's just because of that El Nino effect but man we really needed it and in fact we're supposed to get more rain this evening I'm growing increasingly concerned that the corn that I most recently planted isn't going to germinate now we save pretty much all our own seed and this corn is our rainbow Inca corn that we've saved seed from since like 2006 and what happened was is that I had used up all of our most recent corn and then got into that really old seed and I just way over seeded it seeded it thinking that yeah you know a lot of it won't germinate but some of it will I don't think it is and at this point I don't have time to wait to see if it's going to germinate I just need to assume that it's not going to this is a pretty decent section of our garden that if it doesn't germinate there'll be nothing there and this is part of the food that we're trying to grow to feed our chickens so I just went ahead and bought new corn seed and we're going to start a new corn plot way down there and we're kind of up against the clock now because if we don't get this in basically today there's not going to be enough time for this corn to grow and this year i'll definitely make sure i save a lot of extra corn seed after all corn is one of the easiest things that you can save seed from my next concern is my broody hen i was certain that one of the eggs had pipped and would have hatched within like 12 to 24 hours well nothing has happened so i'm really starting to question if something didn't go wrong still sitting I don't know if anything's happening, Mama. So, we'll see. I'm gonna come back and candle her eggs later this evening if I have time. The big thing, though, is we gotta hurry up and start working on this corn plot before it rains this evening because, number one, need to get those seeds in right away. Number two, I want them to get rained on and start germinating. So Glenn's gonna head down and help me get the area prepared because he has to go to work later today. The big thing is to make sure we keep this corn and our rain rainbow Inca corn from mixing because we really want to preserve our rainbow Inca corn. I've, I've looked online to try to buy new rainbow Inca corn seed and I couldn't find it anywhere. So it's really important we keep these from cross pollinating if at all possible. tell you what this is some much nicer looking soil than what we have in our garden I think we should plant our garden down here normally for planting a good size area like this I would use I have one of those seed spreaders and I would use that but in this case I'm not going to because I don't have a ton of extra seed and it tends to overseed quite a bit plus I don't want to have to come back and thin this so I'm just going to hand plant it to get the spacing that I want from the get-go This is probably the worst place in the world to be planting something because it's right here on the edge of this wood line and the horse flies are just terrible. I've got bit four times already and I haven't even really gotten started. Growing our own chicken feed has really taken front and center stage in our list of priorities because Finding and sourcing good organic chicken feed, number one, it's really expensive. And number two, we're having trouble finding it. And even though we prefer to have organic chicken feed, our biggest thing is non-GMO. We refuse to eat GMO foods. We feel like it's an abomination and we'll not eat it whatsoever. But generally, to get non-GMO, you have to get organic anyway. So our new top priority is figuring out how we can grow all our own chicken feed. And yeah, it's a big undertaking, but it can be done.
to go back and get a battery for my camera. I didn't realize my camera was dead, but I got all of that planted. It took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. And I did actually end up switching to my seed spreader because it was taking so long that there was no way I was going to be able to get everything planted before the rain starts this evening. And I got the job done. That's what it's all about, getting the job done. <laughs> and as exhausted as I am, I would love to just call it a day, drink a nice cold beer and be done. But I'm concerned if I don't put electric around this this evening, there's a chance the raccoons will come along and dig in this fresh dirt. There's nothing more than you love than some loose fresh dirt to dig around for bugs in. So it's a priority to do something about that. But yeah, I'm gonna be really happy when this is done today. It has been one long spring, that's for sure. All right, Kaj, you ready? One more round. This was all the tea posts that we actually had left. But I'm almost done. I need to go ahead and put one more post in to put my solar charger on and then run my wires and my ground. And I'll be done. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> Lately, it seems like all our big projects now are about beating the rain or needing rain. But that's garden season, isn't it? That's all I'm doing for tonight is these two bottom strands. I just want to make sure I keep raccoons out of this. It's temporary because we're going to have to come back, add some posts and a gate and all that. But I just don't have time to finish it tonight. Don't have all the supplies I need. So I just got to keep raccoons out tonight. Hopefully that'll be enough to do the job. And hopefully it'll make up for whatever corn doesn't germinate in our garden. And even if that does end up germinating, wonderful we have even more corn and in fact we might just keep doing this year after year because after all it takes a lot of feed to feed your own animals and we are going to be getting goats real soon so there's that too <sighs> i am exhausted puppy you ready to call it a day help me clean up no you're having too much fun yeah as soon as we go in the house she'll crash come on come on Yes, good girl! <laughs>